Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a quick look at three new updates that Seesaw has done to really aid in getting kids through materials. They've added some hyperlinking, they've added the ability to add some video in, and some cross-page recording. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these new changes. So here we have, um, I've done this assignment twice. I've found an assignment that I liked as a good example. This is the original assignment. So in the original assignment, kids were given this template, which was there for them to click on as, as a choice board to be able to go around the choice board. And then the template was for them to answer the questions. The problem with this one, and this was the old way before these updates, where when kids came in to open the directions, they can't click on these activities for them to go where they need to go. So the original assignment for this was put in and the kids cannot actually click on the images. What they had to do was click on this link down below, which then opened up another document where they could click on the videos to watch, go to the ABC it to play and finish the activities. When they were done with that, then they'd have to remember to get back into Seesaw to then go do the activity wrap ups. <laughs> well, Seesaw's updates have fixed that workflow for kids. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna jump into my edited version of it. Here's that same template that was in the other, the other activity, but now I'm gonna change the template up. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna edit the template. So what I did was, <clears throat> I just went and screen clipped out the pictures here, threw some shapes on, and some text that I want the kids to do. Now the original activity only had these two pages for the kids to put in their activities after they had already viewed all those things by going out to the other four websites. And that gets a little complicated for the students. So I added a page, put that screen clipping in here. <clears throat> now, here's the new changes. The new changes, hyperlinking pretty much anything. So you'll see here I've added a hyperlink and I've added a hyperlink here. <laughs> and so we're gonna show you how to do that on the star. So all I did was Add a shape, put the star in. Now I'm gonna click on the star so that's highlighted. Go to the ellipse down below. And now I'm gonna to go to link. Now here we can put in the URL to any website document, or I could link this to another page. I wanna link it to the website to this little YouTube video. So I'm gonna go grab that link. Just happen to have it on another page. Come over here. Control V to paste the link in, hit check, the green check. So now here it is, the hyperlink right in the activity. Now it's still gonna take the kids out to watch the video, but all of their links are now here so they don't have to keep going to multiple screens and then try to find their way back. So I'm also going to add that hyperlink again under this triangle for this ABC here, link, go get the link to that web page and control V to paste it in and now my activities are linked so I have the little hyperlinks next to the four activities <laughs> another feature that you're gonna want to do right lock that keeps the students from moving your shapes around so lock them in place then they don't go anywhere the kids won't accidentally move them now, I've put in some directions and text over here for the kids to follow. But I think some video would be more helpful for the students to understand what it means when I say click the link icon next to each shape. The new feature is that we now can do that as part of the update. So I'm gonna click on the camera. I'm gonna click on video. And that's gonna turn on my video camera. And now in my directions, I can record directions for the kids. Good morning, kids. Today's activity is gonna be about uh, shapes and you're gonna have to go through and find some activities, go through shapes. 
within each of the choice board options over here, you're gonna have to click on the little link icon. This is what that little link icon looks like. That will take you to the site that you need to go to. So then we pause, done. And now it puts the video into the activity. And what's nice is we now get control to sh shrink, resize, and move the video, which didn't we didn't have that option before. You can have one video per page, okay? One video per page, not per activity, but per page. So now I've got video directions, I've got written directions of how to do the shapes, and when they're done, go to the next, click on the plus sign. So I would have to link the plus sign to go to page two. So again, we're gonna click on the ellipse, go to the link. This time, instead of pasting a URL in, we're gonna to go to the link dropdown and we're gonna go to page two. So now, when kids click on this link icon next to the plus sign, it takes them right to page two and they can do their activity. Now you could put another link on your activity pages to take them back to page one if they don't know how to just click on the right hand side. So this is the setup for the teacher, right? It lets us now put in hyperlinks. Now when we have this assignment in place, our kids don't have to always refer back to that materials tab, which they never did. <clears throat> so now let's go in and take a look at this, at this activity from a student's perspective. So here's the original activity. And if I click add a response to my sample student, you notice I don't have the directions. I've got the title, but the view directions are up here. The kids always forget to click on that to see the directions. And they would have to click on this, and then they'd have to click on another page until they get three tabs down before they can actually start viewing these activities. That's the old way. Now with those new changes, Here's what it looks like now that we changed it. I now have my choice board right on the same page. I've got my video directions. Now these view directions are still up here, but they really don't need to reference them any longer because we've done all of that right within the activity. So if I want to watch this video, I can click on the hyperlink. It's going to open another tab, but it takes them directly to the video, not three clicks later just one and they can just go right back to the other tab. Now the nice thing is when they go to do their work, right? So now we're gonna go on to page two, draw circles that are different sizes. Now maybe we want our kids to even explain what they drew. So if they come in, they draw circles that are three different sizes and now we want them to record but we want them to also record what they're doing on the next page too. So now they can click the microphone just like they would have done before. <clears throat> and now they're recording. So here's my three circles that I drew all in different sizes, getting smaller progressively. They can hit the pause button, go to the next part of the activity, put an X on, this, on any of the circles you see so they can go in and X out still pause the microphone doesn't didn't stop the recording so now they can go click on it again in this part of the activity I X'd out all of the circles that I could find when they're done so they've done with the recording they're done with the activity they can click done now when they do that their multi-page recording was added as a new page so you'll see we had our original page, which was one, two, three. Now we see four pages. It took that recording and combined it into one more page. So now the first page is that multi-page recording for the students. So when a student clicks the check mark, they finish their work and uploads it for the teacher. So now from the teacher's point of view, we have four screens that show the student's work. So I can click through them but if I want to hear the student explain their work, I can just click the play button 
it's going to open up, four. show me all the work that now the kids did, and it's going to move to the next page so that you can see multiple pages at one time. So there, jump through. The kids are continuing to explain. So that's it. Three new updates in Seesaw. Linking anything, adding video, and being able to change its size and move it around. One video per page, and the ability to record across multiple pages. Thanks for watching. Good luck with the classes in the fall. If you have any questions about the new updates, jump on Seesaw Support, Seesaw's YouTube channel, or pop, a, pop in and shoot me an email. Have a great day.